Hey guys, doing a fitting on a 2023 D-Max. Let's get started. So first off, you would have got your package. So what you need to do is just open it up and get all the pieces out. So when you get it, just open it up. First off, you'll have your two headrests. Obviously you'll see we're doing it in the canvas gray today. So we're gonna be doing the front seats. We're gonna do the driver. You have six pieces, two of which are your headrests. Open it up a little bit more. So inside these two pieces, you'll have your seat bases and they are specific to sides so to define them you've got to take off all these velcro straps now this side is for the driver we know that because when we look at the little tag it'll say dot dr at the end of the code that stands for driver and then passenger will have dot pa so that's your driver base the part you sit on and then our driver backrest, which will also have dot .dr, that'll have the duck on it. That's the part you sit again. And then likewise with the passenger with the base inside as well. So first off, we'll do the driver. So like I said before, take all the Velcro pieces off. Obviously we're doing the driver first. So what you want to do is you just want to open it up as best you can, get all the creases out so it's all nice and open to slip over. Now the first thing is to keep in mind is where that tag is at the back, that is actually gonna go through this gap back here. So that is the back side. And then the parts with the two long Velcros is the front. What you wanna do first is you wanna sit it on top in a semi-fitted position. So like I said before, you set it in that sort of position, you can kind of see how it's gonna go. So things to keep in mind is you'll have this side strap here, you'll have two Velcro little straps down here, and then the two ones at the front, and then the two at the back. So first off, what you wanna do is you wanna put this flap through that gap, push that all the way back. Next up, with this side strap, that actually goes between the seat and the center console to the back. So push that through, but make sure you keep it straight. So after you've done that, the first thing you wanna do is these two little side straps and this flat bit right here are actually gonna tuck inside the plastic surrounding. And you're gonna be able to grab the little side straps from underneath the seat. So they're a little bit tricky, but if you just push them inside the plastic and just keep feeding it down, it will eventually go through. So you just wanna do those two first. So once you've got them down here, all you need to do is just pull them through and then guide this little part of the side through that plastic as well. And then gradually feed it down. And that'll go around all the way to this front corner. And it should look something like that. Next up, we need to grab these two front straps and they're gonna run all the way to the back underneath the seat. But you wanna go above all the electrics. And once you've done that, you wanna go to the back. So once you're in the back here, what you wanna do first is you wanna remove this carpet flap. There should be two loops that just unhook and then you'll be able to access it. So once you lift that up, first of all, you already see these two short straps that we push through the back. So you just wanna grab both of them at the highest point, so it attached to the canvas itself, and you just wanna pull them a little bit, give it a little bit of tension. Just make sure you pull it nice and tight. Next up, you wanna grab this side strap that we put between the console and the seat. You wanna give that a little bit of a pull too. After that, you wanna grab the two long Velcros you ran from the front all the way to the back, and you wanna attach them to these nice and tight. So do that now. And once you've done that, we'll go back to the front. So again, with these two little short Velcros, they're actually gonna go inside the plastic and they're gonna actually attach to the long strap that we ran from the front to the back on the driver's side. So you're gonna wanna attach them and they're gonna attach right underneath. So do that now. But make sure you go above the railing. And it should look something like that. Next up, we've got to do the backrest. But first, you've got to take off the headrest. So when you get the backrest, you just got to open it up, pull all the flaps out, and then you just want to slide it over. So once you've pulled it all the way down, you'll notice that there's two hooks at the bottom on the front. They're going to do the same as the back of the base. They're going to go through this gap to the back, and then we'll go to the back. One thing to keep in mind is when you pull it over and you've done those two hooks at the bottom, make sure the little loops that are on the top go underneath the plastic surrounding for the headrest holes. You wanna do that as well. And now we can go to the back. So now that we're in the back again, you just wanna lift that flap up and you just wanna see that you can find those hooks that we just pushed through. Get to the back of them and pull that whole flap through if you can. Pull it nice and tight and make sure you got some tension on it. And then what you wanna do is you wanna hook those underneath the seat onto one of the rails. Once that's done, you can reattach the carpet flap from the original seat. After that, you wanna grab that strap again on the side between the seat and the console, and you'll pull that nice and tight and wrap that onto the carpet flap itself. 
And that's gonna have double-sided Velcro so that the back of this, you can pull down nice and tight and that can go straight over top of it. And that's that done. Now all we got left is the headrest. With the headrest, it doesn't actually matter which side you grab because they're the exact same shape. The other thing you have to worry about is the little tag that's inside is the front. So make sure that's facing the forward side when you slip it over. Put the Velcro over and then put that one over top of that and that's done and adjust it to your liking. Now that's that done. Well, there you go guys, that's the end product. Uh, doing the passenger side is the exact same. The only difference is the two little straps that are on the door side, the back one actually has to go through the railing uh, rather than above or underneath it because it's actually too thick to get around. So you have to go through a slot that's in there, but you can reach that from underneath. Um, this also fits for a uh, BT50 because they are the exact same car. So if you're wondering about the title, that is why it works. Hopefully this answered all your questions. Uh, hopefully it made sense. If you do have any more problems, feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to help. You can call, email or message us um, and we can sort out whatever we need to and get you back on the road as soon as possible. So all I can say now is stay safe, stay protected and have a great day.